Hi everyone, Stevie here. Today I'm going to show you how you can learn Japanese while watching videos and reading websites with the Migaku browser extension. We assume that you've already installed the browser extension, logged in and also that you have Japanese as your selected language. If you haven't done this yet and need help, then please check out the installation tutorial, which can be found in this channel's playlist section. Let's start with watching videos. Open the extension menu and open the app window. You will then be greeted by the dashboard and on this page you can see some basic content recommendations along with some other useful links and relevant community updates. Let's click turn to Mimu Kaikun and head over to Netflix. Migaku features only work on websites where they have been enabled so let's open the Migaku extension menu and enable Migaku on Netflix. You will then see the Migaku toolbar appear at the top of the page. Let's start by looking at the left side of the toolbar. The first thing you will see here is your no word count. You can increase your no words by either manually marking words known, which we will show you how to do later, or by creating and studying flashcards in Migaku memory. The target words on your flashcards will be marked known after you study them a certain number of times. The next section is the comprehension score. Comprehension scores are not currently available for streaming sites like Netflix, but they will be added soon in one of our next weekly updates. We will show you how comprehension scores function a bit later in this video when we look at reading websites with Migaku. The next button is the CC subtitle selection button. Clicking it will open the subtitle selection drop down window. You can then select the target language and your secondary language subtitle tracks. The secondary subtitles have several possible display options. Always will always display the secondary subtitle. On hover will hide the secondary subtitle until it is hovered. When unknown will only show the secondary subtitle lines when there is an unknown word in the target language subtitle line. Never will always hide the secondary subtitle. You can also turn off all subtitles by flipping the hide subtitles switch or pressing the hotkey W. The next option on the toolbar is the display options button. There are several display options available for Japanese. The first is the learning status display option. When enabled, words will be underlined according to their learning status. Unknown words are underlined red. Tracked words are underlined purple. Words being learned in Migaku memory are underlined yellow. Known words are underlined green when hovered and have no underline otherwise. And ignored words are similarly underlined gray only when hovered. We will explain what each of these learning statuses are later when we show you how to change the status of a word. The next option is pitch coloring. When enabled, Hebam words are colored blue, Atamadaka words are colored red, Odaka words are colored green, and Nakadaka are colored orange. Words which have a card created for them in Migaku memory will have a check mark under them. The next option is sentence on hover. This option intentionally does nothing on video sites, but when enabled when reading websites, it highlights the sentence that the word being hovered belongs to. We'll show you this later in the video. The next option is for the Furigana readings above characters. If none is selected, no readings will be shown above words. If all words is selected, readings will be shown for all words. If unknown words is selected, readings will be shown only for unknown words. If on hover is selected, readings will only be shown when a word is hovered. There is also an advanced option switch. Currently there is only a single advanced option, which is to enable or disable looking up compound words. Migaku tracks the words you know individually. But as we know in languages, there are often set phrases and other expressions that are made up of multiple words. You can disable whether to look or not look for compound words using this option. We recommend keeping this feature turned on. The next button on the Migaku toolbar opens a reference to different hotkeys that can be used to speed up your workflow. To the right of that button is the toolbar lock icon. By default it is enabled and locks the Migaku toolbar at the top of the page. When disabled, the Migaku toolbar hides itself and will only display again when you hover your mouse at the very top of the page for a moment. The last button of the toolbar brings the Migaku app window into focus. Let's now begin watching the video. You can see that the video pauses when you hover the subtitles and unpauses when you move your mouse away from them.
to look up a word, you simply click it. This brings up the pop-up dictionary. You can then see a list of different possible definitions for the word. Below that list, you will see several icons. Each icon represents different types of extra information that you can reference. The first icon is for audio. Clicking it will load three pronunciations of the word. You can click the play button to hear the word pronounced. Sasol. The next icon will load image results for the word. The next icon loads example sentences for the word. And the last icon loads a JetGPT AI generated explanation of how the word is being used in context. At the bottom right of the pop-up dictionary, you can see the word learning status button. Pressing this button will toggle the word's learning status. There are four possible learning statuses. Unknown words are words that you don't know yet. When a word is unknown, there is also the option to track that word by pressing the track button next to the learning status button. Tracking the word underlines it purple. It is recommended that you use a tracking feature to track words that you are learning from your native content and aren't creating flashcards for. You can later mark the word known when you feel that you know it well. The next learning status is known and is for words you already know well. The next learning status is ignored. The ignored status is used for words that you don't want added to your known word count, such as people's names. Lastly, there is one more learning status which can't be manually selected. It is the learning status and it is used for words that you have recently begun studying in Migaku memory but have not yet become known. Before we move on, I just want to again say that as I previously mentioned, when you create flashcards for words, they will automatically be marked learning and then known as you study them more. Let's next look at the two buttons in the top right of the pop-up dictionary. The first button simply opens the search result in the Migaku dictionary in the app window. The rightmost button is the create card button. Clicking it will then prompt you to allow recording audio and taking a screenshot before card creation takes place. This is a browser security feature and you are required to enable recording features on a browser tab before card creation can take place. To enable recording, simply click the Mikako extension menu button when prompted. You can also enable and disable recording at any time in the extension menu. Once recording features are enabled, we can then press the create card button again to create a flashcard. This will then open the card creator in the app window and will automatically pre-fill the contents of the card for you. By creating a card, you can alternatively manually select any combination of definition, pronunciation, image, example sentence, or JetGPT explanation to include on the card when creating it. Let's take a brief look at the card creator. Above the target word and sentence fields, there is a preview of how the text will be displayed on your card. If you want to edit how the card will be displayed, you can turn on the modify syntax switch and edit the hidden language syntax of the target word and sentence field. If you want to know more about how the language syntax works, you can click the link in the modify syntax information pop-out to find out more. The next field is the sentence translation field where translation of the sentence can be found. Subtitles usually contain localized translations that may not clearly translate the original content, so there's the option of using AI to generate a translation if you'd like to as well. Next is the definition field where definitions go. You can add more definitions to this field by clicking the add button next to the definitions in the dictionary. Next is the sentence audio field where the audio from the sentence of the show is added. If you are reading, you can also click the Generate button to use AI to generate audio for the sentence text. Next is the Word Audio field. Similarly with definitions, you can add more Word Audio by clicking the Add button in the dictionary window. The Image field also works similarly and you can add more images to it as well if you'd like. You can also add audio and image files from your computer to your cards by clicking the Add button under those fields. The Example Sentence field also functions the same way. Lastly, in the Notes field you can add any extra information you'd like or you can also add the ChatGPT generated explanation here by pressing the Add button in the dictionary. When you're happy with the contents of a card, you can click the Create Card button. You can then see your card on the mobile app or at our Migaku memory website at study.migaku.com
In the near future, Migaku Memory will be directly accessible within the Migaku app window as well. Next, I want to show you how you can navigate a video with hotkeys. You can press the left arrow or the A key to navigate to the previous subtitle line. You can press the down arrow or the S key to replay the current subtitle line. You can press the right arrow or the D key to navigate to the next subtitle line. You can pause and play the video with the space key. Lastly, before we move on to reading with the Migaku browser extension, I want to mention that along with Netflix, Migaku also works with YouTube, Disney Plus and duck Wiki. Let's now look at reading with the browser extension. Let's again head over to the dashboard, but this time let's click the Hukumusume link and look at this children's story. First, we want to again enable Migaku on this page through the extension menu. After we've done so, we can now see that the comprehension score for the page is available. If we hover the page difficulty rating, we can see some more detailed comprehension stats for the page. We can also see the number of recommended sentences on the page. Recommended sentences will be displayed with their unknown word in a stylized box as you can see here. Recommended sentences are sentences with a single unknown word. The browser extension will automatically increase the rarity of the words it recommends you learn based on the number of words you currently know. We can also see that the sentence on hover display option is functioning. When hovering a word, the sentence it belongs to is highlighted in light blue. Similarly to video sites, we can look up words and create cards from them. An important note is that when looking up a word in a link, you can hold the shift key down and hover it to look up the word rather than clicking it to prevent you from navigating away from the current web page. Migaku functions on any website you visit, so you are able to use Migaku to help you read a variety of content such as news, Twitter and blogs. This tutorial video showed you in pretty close detail all of the features that are available when watching videos and reading websites with Migaku. If you want to take a look at how we suggest you use these features in your learning, please check out our Japanese Quick Start playlist, where we simply focus on the most useful features and show how we recommend you use them during your studies. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. We will update our tutorial playlist on a regular basis and cover new features that are released, so feel free to come back to this playlist later if you need help with or would like an introduction to any new features.